Steel is a good material to store, store mechanical energy. Uh, it needs bars of these dimensions. They're made by people who make uh, torsion bars for the auto, uh, auto racing um, business. And uh, they made slightly longer ones for us. And uh, so we, we have that system all set up. You connect a lever to the end of the torsion bar, uh, short wire between, and uh, the, the torsion bar catches the system. And I'll, I'll show you in, in a minute uh, a little bit more about how that works. Um, let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to say here? Um, oh, and, and of course, we also need the motor that goes with it, uh, which is a linear motor. It's a periodic magnetic field. A coil sits in the periodic magnetic field. And then there is a computer-based controller, which does commutation of the signals to the motor coils. It has a current servo, and it has a position velocity servo. Um, those are all important actors in the game, because it's, it's very important to maintain a low vibration environment when you launch these test masses. If you're measuring velocity to a quarter nanometer per second over a run, then you want to start the test masses off not moving very fast. When you have ball bearings rolling on rails, you have about a micron noise, 100 hertz, you're at millimeters per second. So what you, in terms of RMS noise. So what you need to do is, is uh, have a very quiet system which doesn't have ball bearings and doesn't have uh, a lot of motor noise. And we're, we started with mock-ups, which were ball bearings, it was a noisy motor, and we're working the bugs out, and, and, and as, I'll, as, I'll, as I'll show you as we go on. Next. Uh, this is the system we've got currently. Uh, this is the lever. The torsion bars are in here. So here's the vacuum chamber. And uh, the vacuum chamber has a pulley on the bottom of it, which is, is just a convenient thing to catch a short piece of cable with. We initially tried a system with cable running over pulleys. It was a disaster. Nobody could tell us beforehand. Nobody could tell us afterwards why it was a disaster. We simply noticed that cable, stretch tight, running over pulleys, uh, dissipates a ton of energy. And uh, apparently, it's not known. It, it's it's a, a problem of economic importance, but it's, it's not known how to predict uh, or, or, or to build a really low friction cable. The only way to do it is, is with a steel band, and we didn't fancy the idea of a, of a razor blade running at, at high speeds for our laboratory. So we decided to do something different. And so the only cable in the system is this one, which just has to bend a little bit. It doesn't have to roll over a pulley. And it works a treat. It dissipates at most a few percent of the energy. There's so much dissipation in the ball bearings on the slide that we can't tell. Uh, to any better than that. But this is going to be the system uh, that we work with uh, for some time. It, it works well. Um, next. Uh, right. Yeah. Um, let's see. We've gotten off the, the technology bit. Um, we're on to... Actually, let me see if I can put this talk in a little bit better order. I'll just go over this for the time being and come back to it. Because we're all into the into the the motion system right now, the present system runs on these track rollers, um, which which uh, they're they're re lovely compact little thing. This is about an inch diameter, and there are ball t double race of ball bearings in there. There's a, a steel rod that it runs on. There's a groove in the outside of the outer race. All very compact, very nice and noisy as anything. As I say, micron level noise. You can do a little bit better with ball bearings, but you're not going to get the three orders of magnitude that we need. So they're way too noisy. And uh, it was a nice way to get started and demonstrate some things, but it has to go. So um, next. Uh, we're going to salvage some pieces from that system, which include the periodic magnetic field. That system had a cart and, and, and so forth periodic magnetic field, and uh, the guide rail will just be a spectator. Uh, next. Uh, we require velocity in both uh, horizontal and vertical, RMS less than 10 microns a second, uh, at liftoff when we're running at 5 meters per second vertical. Um, and that implies a slope variation 
uh, on all scales from five centimeters to uh, to the one and a half meter length of the of the guideway of two microradians or less. I'll explain the five centimeters in a bit. Um, vertical acceleration wants to be uh, less than a milli g and uh, and so on. And we'd like also to cut down the friction loss. Uh, it improves the way the the motor runs. Next. So with those requirements, um, we consider uh, ways we could achieve it, achieve them. There are systems with sliding uh, plastic or other materials on uh, on polished ways. Uh, there are systems with uh, there are systems with, for telescopes which run very slowly on on oil uh, on oil films. Uh, running at five meters a second, we didn't fancy oil spraying all over the lab, especially with optics around. So we kind of tabled that idea pretty quickly. Um, and uh, there are magnetic systems, which are elaborate and unusual, and air slides, which are pretty common. And that's what we decided to use. And probably a number of you in the room use air slides, so, so this won't be a surprise to some of you. But um, the thinness of the air film makes them extremely stiff, because the, the stiffness of the, of the, of the spring, normal to the, normal to the guideway, is the derivative of force with distance. And if this distance is only a few microns, then, then the derivative is high. And so it surprised me to learn that the air bearing was very stiff, but it is. And it also uh, averages nicely over its whole surface, uh, especially for the, for the graphite tech air bearings. And so uh, that's, that's what we're going to use. It's, it's smooth, it's low friction, it's stiff, and so it, it has everything we need. And furthermore, it can be built for a reasonable amount of money. We initially thought uh, that, that we were talking uh, uh, many tens of K from aluminum ingot, maybe, or um, uh, $100,000 scale for a piece of glass made by optical fabrication means. But then we learned that the way it's done is you use granite. And the granite industry can just meet that spec. So, uh, so we're, in, we're in business there. Next. Um, let's see, we also considered uh, running bushings on steel rods, but they're not very straight and they're uses to fold, so we dropped that. Um, next. So uh, we've, we've got a granite, granite way practically on order. Um, we, will, we will purchase off the shelf graphite air pads. And uh, we've got a, uh, a design for a carriage where the pads are spring mounted. We considered wrapping the carriage around the granite way and having it rigid in all directions, but the thermal requirements were rather stiff. We needed to hold the aluminum to within Kelvin or, or better, uh, and we didn't want to guarantee that over, over uh, all the operation. So we, we went with the spring mounting where we pay a, a penalty in stiffness, but things become more adjustable and, and uh, uh, more friendly to work with. So that's, that's the way we go. Uh, next. Uh, this is what our air slide is going to look like. Uh, we have the, the yellow part, which is turned into a nasty brown in this, in this uh, uh, projection. But anyway, I Green. intended it to be yellow in the first place. Uh, the yellow is, is steel that we have that we need to modify a bit for this apparatus. The granite beam uh, with pads on one, two surfaces in front, and then one surface uh, uh, left, right, and back, um, and the magnet slot up the middle. The granite beam will be ordered within weeks. Um, it's, uh, we, it's, we, we, we pretty much understand uh, what, what we need to buy, and the suppliers understand what, what they need to make, so, so we're pretty good sure that. Um, the cart has uh, the cart is well along in design, but it needs to be designed, finished design, and fabricated. The vacuum chamber we already have, all the stuff that goes in the vacuum chamber we already have, and we've shown that it works. Uh, so we're we're in in jolly good shape. Having um, uh, you know, test masses are built, the laser gauge is working. Um, so so with these being fabricated, we're expecting that the system will work.